So after uploading and rewatching the previous video that I uploaded on Soapfields, I realized that it would be more effective if I actually work through a couple examples and highlight the things that I mentioned in the previous video. So here we have an unknown function y and its first derivative y prime, which represents the slope of our unknown function y. And in this example, we're going to be using a slope field to plot the actual solution to this differential equation. So here I have a plot, an xy plot, and now let's just go ahead and plot the slope vectors at a bunch of different points. So when x or y is equal to zero, we get a slope of zero because x and y are being multiplied together. So right away we can fill in the slope plot along the x and y axis as having a zero slope. So let's just go ahead and enter in zero slope vectors up and down the y-axis and across the x-axis. And now whenever y is equal to 1, then the value of y prime is just going to be x, because x times 1 is equal to x. So when x is equal to 1, right here, we have a slope of 1, and then we have a slope of 2, and whenever we go in the negative x direction, we have a slope of negative 1 and negative 2 and then negative 3 and when y is equal to negative 1 then the y prime is equal to negative x so this will just be a mirror image of what we have above it so now let's consider the case for y is equal to 2 this means that the y prime or the slope of y would be 2 times x. So it just scales each of these vectors by a multiple of 2. So now we've got this and then this and in the other direction something like that. And now we can kind of see the pattern that's happening. And as we go up and down the slope just continues to steepen. So I can just kind of fill this out right now. And what we get is a slope field that looks somewhat like this. It's not drawn perfectly, but you guys get the idea. So if I wanted to plot any solution to this differential equation, I can start wherever I want and then just follow the slope vectors. So this slope field represents all of the general solutions to this differential equation, meaning I can come anywhere in it, and as long as my function lies tangent to every vector in the slope field, then it is a valid solution. So I can start anywhere. A slow field just represents the general solution to the differential equation. And that is why I need to specify an initial condition such as y of 0 is equal to 1 in order to get a unique solution. So let's come back to the question here. If I have this differential equation y prime is equal to xy with the initial condition y of 0 is equal to 1 then I can plot the unique solution to that differential equation by starting at y of 0 is equal to 1 and then drawing my function tangent to all of the slope vectors, which would look like this. So even though we don't have an analytic solution to this differential equation because we didn't use calculus to solve it, we still have an idea of the behavior of this function by plotting it using a slope field.